What it do, crew? It's Boss Lady J back to your screen. Hey, I got a story tonight. It's inspiring and it's heartbreaking at the same time. And it starts like this. My daughter went back to school the other day. She brings a friend home. Her friend introduced herself. I introduced myself and everything going good. You know, asking questions, kind of getting to know her and those type of sorts going on, you know. So, what I found out was she was having problems in her home, had been taken, and the lady that she's with now is mistreating her. So, I picked up the phone and I called the police and had her removed from that home because she wasn't being fed, she was being mistreated, and she wasn't being treated right at all. And that's not okay. So, I stepped in, I intervened. They're placing her in a new group home where she can be treated fairly, she can eat. And enjoy just being a kid, going to school and do what she needs to do, you know, and where she can enjoy her childhood. I was so happy that I was brought this and able to do something. Speak up, speak out, and help. We got to help these babies because they didn't ask to be here. Like, I didn't ask to be here, and I went through things in my life. But you know what? God got me through it. So I'm helping her so God can get her through. And she's going to have a testimony to share one day with someone like I'm sharing with you guys right now. We have to do what we can and do our part. So I'm going to keep doing my part. I hope you're going to do your part. And we got to say these babies and give back any way we can. If it's making a phone call, if it's giving a meal, if it's giving a ride, if it's giving a couple of dollars, if it's giving an outfit, shoes, backpack, whatever they need. And you could be a service. Do it because you will be blessed later on. And it also do it from your heart. Don't do it to brag about it or say that you did something. Whatever you do, do it from your heart and let it come from within. And when it comes from within, you go in, period. Because God said, if you put me first, all your needs will be met. And I've done so and all of mine have been met. So let's help these babies' needs be met. Especially if yours are met. And even if they're not met, do what you can just to help a baby out. Because they didn't ask to be here and they need help. You know, some kids don't have no one to love them or show them what it is to be loved. To teach them how to be a young man or a young lady, you know. So that when they grow up, nobody will play them. Because if you're not taught, people will take advantage of you. People will play you. People will steal from you or do whatever they can do to get over for themselves. So I'm not thinking about myself. I'm thinking about others. But I will not be played. I will let, not let no one lie to me. And I will not let no one use me. That's dead. We're going to push a button on that real fast. You know what I mean? But we got to help these babies. And we got to show them that it is someone that loves them. It doesn't matter if it's your kid, niece, nephew, cousin, neighbor, friend, whoever. It's not about hurting someone. Or calling on someone. But if it's time to call. Because it needs to be done. Do it. Because you're saving someone. So what are you going to do to save someone? I hope that my messages and my videos and everything is saving someone. And reaching someone. I love y'all. Keep your head up. And let's help these babies out here. So we can win. And they can win also. I'm going to leave you guys with that. Much love. Later for now, and I'll see you soon.